Ever pondered about the most dangerous things on our planet? Danger, it's an elusive concept, isn't it? It comes in many forms, some visible, others hidden beneath the surface. From the deepest oceans to the highest skies, from the smallest microorganisms to the largest predators, danger lurks in every corner of our world. It's a thrilling, terrifying, and utterly fascinating part of our existence. As we embark on this journey, let curiosity be our guide. Prepare to unveil the top 10 most dangerous things in the world. Starting our countdown at number 10, we dive deep into the ocean. Here, danger takes on a whole new meaning. It's not just about what you see, but also what you can't see. Hidden beneath the surface lies a world unlike any other, where the pressure is a thousand times greater than at sea level, and temperatures are freezing cold. This is a place where survival becomes a game of chance. The deeper you go, the more unfamiliar the territory becomes. You're not just dealing with the crushing pressure and the bone-chilling cold, but also the unknown creatures lurking in the dark. These denizens of the deep, many of them unseen by human eyes, are perfectly adapted to this harsh environment. They can be as captivating as they are terrifying, adding to the allure of the ocean depths. The ocean depths, a world full of peril and mystery. It's a place where danger is not just a possibility, but a certainty. Moving to number nine, we encounter a silent but deadly force. This is radiation, an invisible hazard that permeates our world in various forms. It emanates from the sun, from materials in the Earth's crust, and even from man-made sources like nuclear power plants and medical imaging machines. While we often associate radiation with catastrophic events like the Chernobyl or Fukushima disasters, it's crucial to remember that even everyday exposure can have serious consequences. The effects can be immediate, like radiation sickness, or they can take years to surface, leading to cancers and genetic damage. The environment isn't spared either. Radiation can contaminate water sources and soil, disrupting entire ecosystems and the balance of life within them. It's a silent killer that doesn't discriminate, affecting all living beings indiscriminately. Despite our advancements in technology and understanding, radiation remains a formidable adversary, a constant reminder of our vulnerability in the face of nature's might. Radiation, the silent killer that we cannot see, smell, or touch. At number eight, we face the wrath of the skies. Imagine the sky, often a symbol of peace and tranquility, transforming into a swirling mass of chaos and devastation. That's the reality of extreme weather conditions. Hurricanes, tornadoes, and lightning storms all fall under this category, each with their unique and terrifying characteristics. Hurricanes, with their massive size and punishing winds, can lay waste to entire cities in a heartbeat. Tornadoes, on the other hand, may be smaller, but their high-speed winds can cause a level of destruction that's equally shocking. Lightning storms, while beautiful to watch from a distance, can be deadly up close, with flashes of electric energy that can strike down anything in their path. Each of these weather phenomena shares a common trait, unpredictability. They can strike anywhere, anytime, turning our world upside down in the blink of an eye. The sky's fury, an unpredictable and destructive force. At number seven, we feel the earth shake beneath our feet. The very ground we trust to hold us steady can suddenly shudder, sway, and split. This is the unsettling reality of earthquakes. They are the violent vibrations of the Earth's crust, triggered by the sudden release of energy in the Earth's lithosphere that creates seismic waves. These waves can race across the globe, their power potentially devastating towns, cities, and even whole countries. Why does this happen? It's all about plate tectonics, the Earth's crust is a puzzle of huge, moving plates. Sometimes they collide or slide past each other, causing friction. When the pressure becomes too much, it's released as an earthquake. The effects can be catastrophic. Buildings crumble, roads crack, and lives are lost. In mere moments, the world can change forever. And while we have made great strides in predicting these events, they remain a formidable force of nature. Earthquakes the Earth's tremors that can bring civilizations to their knees. At number six, we shrink down to the microscopic level. Welcome to a world that's invisible to the naked eye, a realm buzzing with activity. Here, among the countless bacteria and microorganisms, lurk the most dangerous entities of all, 
viruses. These minuscule menaces are a testament to the fact that size doesn't always matter when it comes to posing a threat. Viruses are unique in their ability to hijack the machinery of our cells, replicating themselves in the process. This, in turn, can lead to a multitude of diseases, some mild, some severe, and some even deadly. From the common flu to the devastation of the 1918 Spanish flu pandemic, viruses have left an indelible mark on human history. In the 21st century, we've experienced firsthand the power of these microscopic threats with the emergence of COVID-19. As we've seen, a single virus can bring the world to a standstill, disrupting lives and economies. Viruses, the microscopic menace that can bring the world to a standstill. At number five, we confront an invisible threat. Stealthy and silent, this menace isn't one you can see or touch, but it's there, lingering in every breath we take. This silent assailant is air pollution. Air pollution, it's a term we've all heard, but what does it really entail? It's an insidious cocktail of particulates, gases, and biological molecules introduced into the air, primarily from human activities. From vehicle exhausts to industrial emissions, and even the burning of fossil fuels, these are the culprits that taint our air. And the effects? They're far-reaching and alarming. On a personal level, Air pollution can lead to serious health conditions, such as heart disease, stroke, and respiratory illnesses. On a global scale, it contributes to climate change, an issue that affects every living being on our planet. So let's respect the air we breathe. Let's fight against this invisible threat, because every breath matters. Air pollution, the invisible threat that we breathe in every day. At number four, we venture into the wild. The wild is home to an incredible array of creatures, each with its unique set of survival skills. But when human paths cross with these animals, the encounter can be far from pleasant. Let's talk about the king of the jungle, the lion. With a single swipe of their paw, they can knock a fully grown man off his feet. Then there's the African elephant, the largest land animal on earth. Despite their gentle demeanor, they are responsible for more human deaths in Africa than any other large animal. Next, consider the saltwater crocodile, the most aggressive of all crocodile species. Their death roll, a hunting technique, is as fascinating as it is deadly. And let's not forget the venomous king cobra, whose bite can be fatal within 30 minutes. The wild is a captivating realm, teeming with life and fraught with danger. It's a place where survival is a game of the fittest, and every encounter can be a thrilling challenge. The wild, a place of beauty and danger in equal measure. At number three, we look at ourselves. An unusual suspect, perhaps, but one that cannot be ignored. Humans have a unique knack for posing danger to both themselves and the planet. This is seen vividly in the throes of war. These conflicts, sparked by differences in ideology, resources or power, have caused untold suffering and loss. But the danger we pose isn't just on a global scale. On a more personal level, crime, from petty theft to violent acts, is another way we endanger each other daily. Yet the danger we pose isn't exclusive to our own species. Our actions have a profound impact on the world around us. Environmental destruction, driven by industrialization and consumption, disrupts ecosystems and accelerates climate change. This in turn threatens the very existence of countless species and the delicate balance of life on Earth. We humans, often our own worst enemies. Finally, we reach the top two most dangerous things in the world. The anticipation is palpable. The suspense, almost unbearable. We've traversed through the realms of the deep sea, the silent killers, the wrath of the sky, the Earth's tremors, the microscopic menace, the invisible threats, the wild encounters, and the human hazards. And now, we stand at the precipice of the most perilous of them all. Our runner-up in this countdown of danger is nothing less than the force of nature itself. Yes, we're talking about natural disasters. From earthquakes that shake our very foundations to hurricanes that uproot our lives, nature's fury is a force to be reckoned with. And yet, it's not just the immediate destruction that poses a threat. It's the aftermath too. The displacement, the scarcity of resources, and the loss. The danger is real, it's immediate, and it's ever-present. But despite its unpredictability, 
we can arm ourselves with knowledge, preparation, and resilience to lessen the blow. And now, we've arrived. The most dangerous thing in the world. It's something that's been with us since the dawn of time, yet it's something we often overlook. It's our own actions. Yes, you heard right. Human actions hold the power to create or destroy, to heal or harm, to uplift or oppress. We're not just talking about wars or violence, it's about our daily decisions too. The way we treat our planet, the way we treat each other, and the way we treat ourselves. The danger lies not just in the big actions, but in the small ones that accumulate over time. Yet just as we hold the power to harm, we also hold the power to heal. And that, dear listeners, is the most dangerous yet hopeful truth of all. And there you have it. The top 10 most dangerous things in the world. Stay safe out there, and remember, knowledge is the first step towards prevention.